The Everything is Person to Person series really is a tricky series. On the one hand, you're touching some very sensitive topics that a lot of people simply don't want to hear. On the other hand, you're trying to be as objective as possible and the issue with that is if you're caught in the middle, you're automatically an extremist for both sides. I've made videos in the past concerning God and because I was being so objective and pointing out certain things from both sides, I got one comment that said, finally, an atheist who knows what he's talking about. And directly under that one said, finally, a Christian who has his head on straight and it cracks me up. I have never openly said what I believe when it comes to God and I never will. It's more important that we know as much as possible when it comes to him or her. Questioning our beliefs is never a bad thing. Now there are many different religions, Christianity being the most popular with so many branches of it still continuing to pop up, but I just want to say that if I favor one particular god over another in this video, you're going to have to forgive me. As much as I want to talk about Zeus and Allah, I only have so much knowledge of these deities myself, and forcing all the information of every single god that ever once was into one video would almost be an impossible task. So I'm going to try to be general here, but again, the topic is about God. Ah, uh, this intro is already difficult enough because of what God actually means, but let's start there. What exactly is God? The definition of God is the creator and ruler of the universe and all source of moral authority, the supreme being. In many Bibles, God is who created the heavens and the earth, human beings and animals, and lovingly looked after us. There are many popular stories about many gods of the world doing very kind and loving things. There are also stories about those very same gods doing very malicious and almost evil things, and at the chance of being a bit blasphemous, we're going to address a few of them. You clicked on the video, you're going to have to deal with the fact that I'm cynical about everything, and if God is whom you believe he is, he's the one who made me this way. I want to start by briefly explaining biblically why human beings exist and how we got here. According again to many Bibles, we were created first by one man and one woman. Nobody remembers their names. God placed one tree in a garden that the first man and woman lived in, and though there were thousands of trees for them, this one tree would kill them. God told them not to eat from that tree to test their faith and their loyalty, but alas, they ate. They instantly became sinful and started to die, and now we live through their sin. Now, of course, the obvious questions are, why would God make that tree? That's kind of a rude thing to do. God can look into the future. He would have known these people would have sinned. Was it he who programmed them wrong, or did he know this would happen and let it happen because he wanted to teach us a lesson, which in itself is also not very pleasant sounding? Why am I being punished for their sin? It's kind of like modern day SJWs getting upset at white people for owning slaves, when in fact, I'll bet you none of us did. Why am I being punished? It just doesn't feel right. But I'm not going to go through the Bible and try to prove parts correct or question others. I told the first story to ask a question. Why is it when you tell these stories from the Bible, whether you be a believer or not, and you ask questions like this, are you instantly ridiculed? People who are so attached to anything never seem to ponder. They just sit back and accept and it doesn't make any sense. It's not like you can't be religious and question things. If you do in fact believe in God, he gave you the mind you have for a reason. And getting angry because someone asks a hard question is on the same level as getting upset when you tell someone their iPhone isn't objectively the best phone on the market. Something I have noticed growing up around religious friends is that they can do some very immoral things in the name of their deity. For instance, some will tell a dirty joke at work and someone who doesn't appreciate it will actually use that to tell them that they're going to hell. Someone who spent a night in jail or did something they regret can cause them to feel like they're unworthy simply because they did something one time in their life that was less than perfect. And even some watching this video right here will call it blasphemous because regardless as to whether I'm religious or I am not, I'm the sort of person who will not stop asking questions. I'm going to hell. I'm going to be tortured forever and that thought pleases them. Whether these extremely religious people want to admit it or not, they feel not only that they can judge you and decide for God if you'll be going to hell, but inside, it makes them happy to think that. Now, are all religious people this way? Well, of course not. That's why this series is called Person to Person, and I have met extremely religious people who are also extremely objective as well, asking questions that challenge their beliefs, yet still feel just as strengthened by their religion. And that, according to God, is the acceptable behavior. When it comes to doing wrong in God's name, though, there are many that are much worse. Terrorists of any kind are predominantly religious and do what they do for religious reason. Most every war in history has been because of religious reason. When it comes down to it, none of this is God's fault, is it? Well, Barry, he did make us this way. He's the one who made us feel so strongly about him that we would actually come to blows with each other. And that's a good point, but don't you openly have the ability to ignore that crap? 
I myself never get upset when someone questions my beliefs. I take it as an opportunity to grow and learn from the other side, to debate and ask questions, stump the person or he stumped me. I really enjoy that, but there's one thing that I do not like and it actually trumps the others in my opinion. Think back to when you were young, and your teachers try to tell you that the Big Bang was how the universe was created. You go home and tell your family, and they tell you that God is who created the universe, and the Big Bang is a ridiculous idea. Fast forward to today, where religions all over the planet agree that God used the Big Bang to create the universe. There's so much evidence to support the Big Bang, and the religious knew it the whole time. The Bible said so. Religion is never wrong, and nobody ever said the Big Bang was wrong, only proving that God does in fact exist, and we were right the entire time. Do you understand how ridiculous that sounds? Back when humans were in their infancy, we made up gods to try to explain things. The first recorded deities came from Egyptians as they had the earliest form of writing. One of the first recorded deities became Venus, who turned into Aphrodite, the god of love. She was used to explain love. Other gods came in soon after to explain things that humans did not yet understand, and as we grew and learned more and more, these gods melted away. The reason I bring this up is because the god of today, no matter which one or ones you believe in, do their unfortunate part in hindering our advancement in learning. Is it their fault? Well, no, we do this. Why does the universe exist? Well, God. What's the meaning of life? To serve God. Why is it in the Bible when the first man and woman were kicked out of the Garden of Eden, a spinning flaming sword was set in front of the gate to keep them out? They would not have known what a sword was. They never knew war. That would be like if I went back in time, kicked the Egyptians out of their homeland and put a flaming spinning AK-47 in front of the gate. They don't know the capabilities of that thing. Why would God look into the future and pick up that weapon? Oh, cause God said so, huh? See, that is the issue. Instead of asking questions and us human beings wanting to further our knowledge like we once used to, we instead just let all our answers be as easily answerable as possible. And then when science figures something out, oh, we knew that the entire time. Barry, this video was supposed to be about God, and really it was. God is not a physical being that will have a conversation with us personally, is he? All we have is a book that tells him what he was like and hope he's still the same way. And how we treat others, no matter if you're religious or not, is important. If God does in fact exist, that's what he wants from you, so why are you fighting? Why are you so scared to ask questions and why are you so quick to judge? Take as much as you can from every situation. Learn as much as possible. Yeah, it takes time and yeah, it won't always pay off, but you'd be doing more than most. I myself do have beliefs. I have an idea about how the universe came to be and I could be wrong. I mean, hell. I'm human. I'm only perfect.